Hi, YouTube. So today is another like organizing video sort of thing. I had this idea since the decluttering paper video because that was very calming to me to do one where I organize papers in this accordion folder that I I was going to use in high school, but honestly, I never like fucking used it. I just wrote like the names of my classes, but then literally never used this. So. Yeah, so today we're going to use this and put some of my old papers or, you know, like from childhood or just papers that I have now that will be useful. So, I'm going to do that today. So hopefully this should be a calm video and it should be something productive where you guys can be productive along with me too and this can help you get inspiration for cleaning stuff. But... I just want to say this sticker is from my sister. She gave it to me actually because she got a lot of stickers in this one. This one time that she visited a city and basically this is like the sticker that I got and it's so cool. It has Margarita and stuff. It's really nice that she gave it to me and then speaking of that they went to chinatown today but i didn't get to go because um i was sick and i decided not to go because i thought hey it would be better for me to just heal and take care of myself today which that turned out to be a really good decision honestly but she got me like these hair clips like she got me this flower one and then she got me this other flower one so yeah my sister is really nice. I just gotta say, shout out to my sister. But, anyways, all my siblings are nice. Please don't comfort them. <laughs> anyways. Yeah, so, I was thinking of also having these posters and then I'm going to put them over the names that I used to have because I wrote in Sharpie so I can't really erase it or anything but I'm going to put these sticky notes on here so that I can make new tabs for <coughs> anything because with sticky notes they stick so yeah yeah that's why they're called sticky notes um as first, I'm going to sort this paper, and then I'm going to put it in the thing. I'm going to try to see what kind of sections should be in here. So, I got my song lyrics from when I was, like, really young. So, maybe I'll just put that in a thing, and then I have, like, this heart shoe. So... Maybe we'll make a pile for like childhood things or something. Yeah, I, I think that's a good idea. So we're going to make a pile for childhood things because also I have my old yearbook thing here. And basically I had other people write different things in it. This was my yearbook from I think the seventh grade or something. And then eighth grade, I actually got a official yearbook for middle school. Seventh and eighth grade was middle school for me. And I remember my old friend, she wrote this very long paragraph that was about a page long. But the thing is, is that she said, oh, we're going to be friends forever. I don't know what I would do without you. But now she is without me. So... <laughs> And do, probably doing just fine. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> that just shows that if someone is telling you that, oh, we're going to be friends forever, it's just like, it's probably not really the case. Because, honestly, even with me, it's just like, sure, I'll always be there for people. But I'm not going to promise people that I'm going to be there forever. I'm just saying. But, then again, I might have said it at some point. But, it just, I don't like just saying a definite thing if I don't know for sure you know so yeah yeah because you never really know where a relationship is going to go honestly like you can say that it's going to be forever but then it doesn't end up that way but that is okay 
Yeah, this it's sad looking back at these just because, you know, um it's sad seeing like the people I used to know and the friends that I used to have, but now it's just I uh, don't really have anyone who is on this paper in my life anymore but yeah <clears throat> it, it it's sad but at the same time you know i know that it will be okay and that hey at least i actually got to know these people and stuff <sighs> so there we go we got that paper and then we just got these plain papers, which I think I'm, I'm going to use these for my binder probably because I have a new psychology binder that I'm using to basically write down psychology stuff for classes that I take in it or just anything. So there we go. And then, oh my God, wait, <laughs> girl, I need to keep these. Okay, so, um. Basically, I found these reward things. My middle school used to give um, these, uh, I guess, I, I don't want to give too much away, but I, I don't think it would give too much away. It's basically these things called pods where they would give them away in order to congratulate you on the things that you did. And these two were from my band teacher at the time i don't even know why they gave them to me i don't know oh shit girl <laughs> i just realized i fucking okay i showed that to the camera uh, it's fine though hopefully you didn't see too much or that it doesn't really give anything away i mean it's not really giving away the name of the school necessarily because it only has it isn't it has some initials on there but still it come by <laughs> Anyway, that's fine though. I'm just overly paranoid that people are going to see my location or figure it out and then come and stalk me because some people are creepy on the internet. But I don't, I don't think that really happens that much though. I don't really see that happening. So they really, with this folder, I already have everything sorted out. This is all music, so we're going to make a section for music. Go. See, so, um, this is from my guitar teacher, by the way, all of these things. Look, it's the circle of fifths, I think. Yeah. Yay. It's different key signatures and chords so that you remember them and such. So, mm, there we go. I was actually thinking of being a music ed teacher, but then... Afterwards, I'm, I'm glad that I did not choose that route just because it just seems like a lot of hard work, if we're being honest. I mean, I could do hard work. It's just that the, the it's not necessarily the work. I mean, the main thing is, is that it just seems too prestigious for me, honestly. I mean, I understand that psychology can be prestigious too, but I feel like there's more variety when it comes to psychology and stuff. And it's not as, you know, uptidy. Well, I feel like a lot of the, um, at least older music teachers that I met, then again, most of them were middle-aged white men stuff. But most of them I met, well, besides the one that I had in high school, he was pretty nice for the most part, you know. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, like, with the other people, or also like this other person who ended up dying actually which is really sad but he was nice but I feel like a lot of the other middle-aged male um band teachers are just because I went on some college visits and stuff and had a bad experience with the music department there so it wasn't really that great because I didn't really have much experience and they seem to see me as below them because of it and it just like dude like honestly Aren't, aren't you supposed to be trying to get me to go to your school instead of expecting me to know everything about music right now? <laughs> like, 
I don't know. I mean, I knew a bit about music because I took guitar lessons, but at the same time, I didn't know she ate so much. I don't know. Okay, so this is a letter for the um, new school that I'm going to. So this is a letter from them, and then this is, like, a booklet of the town. I don't really want to, like, show it on camera, though, because that would be a bit too revealing. So I'm just going to put this over here and we'll make a section for like college information stuff. There we go. So, uh, but yeah, I don't know. I've just always gotten the impression that music school or majoring in music in college or having to major in music education, it's more about the you have to be more prestigious about music and not just chill about it. You have to be the type of person that's going to see it as more academic than just doing music for fun. I'm more of a person that just does music for fun, while I feel as if a lot of the people who end up being music teachers, they end up getting all prestigious about it, and I don't necessarily like that because I don't believe that people have to learn how to read music for example in order to do music and people think oh well you have to know all this theory and blah 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 but you don't really have to know that much in order to have fun with music honestly in my opinion and I don't really know that much and I still have fun with playing guitar and singing and stuff so I don't think you really necessarily need to know a lot of music theory in order to be a good musician and to know things and to be successful, be a master. I mean, maybe for, <clears throat> you know, being a master in music as a whole, but I mean, I'm, I'm more mean creating music. Sorry, I'm still getting over my sickness. <clears throat> oh, Jesus. But yeah, you don't really need to have that sort of thing in order to be uh, expert in music making. You know, when it comes to how well can you make music, that's more just a creative thing where it's really very subjective. Well, I feel as if sometimes with the whole doing music thing, it kind of, in college, it kind of gets rid of that when you're learning it in school because Sure, it's important to learn certain theories sometimes, and it's important to teach people and spread music. But also to add on, I just don't think it has to be as prestigious for everyone, or it needs to be a prestigious thing in order to teach other people music, you know? But yeah, that's the whole reason why I didn't go into it, was because I just thought it was too prestigious, and also to add on, I just... Again, I, I felt as if I wasn't good enough and I had bad experiences, so therefore it's it, it just wasn't really that creative idea. But now it led me to here where I'm doing psychology, which honestly, much better for me because I don't really like the school system, <laughs> honestly. That's just my opinion, but this is my medical stuff, so I'm going to put some of the medical things. This is like a sheet just talking about all of the things that makes me potentially have autism when I was younger. It was like one to five. My mom wrote out this whole sheet of shit. And then I got some of my medical um, records here. Well, this is for getting a blood test before I go back to school potentially. And then this is the letter that they gave me for accommodations, and then I sent a screenshot to send, I sent it, sorry, I sent a screenshot to the person in the disabilities office to get a single room, and then this is the sheet. There we go. So, we're gonna make one that's medical. Shit. Or, you know, my personal Maybe I'll just make it, like, my personal records. Ooh, so, so mysterious. So, it, it, it makes, it reminds me of those personal records that they have of the fucking government. Like, gotta keep it sealed because, huh? I mean, technically they are government things, though. 
But yeah, these are actually cards. I'm making a thing for cards, you know what I'm saying? The pretty dapper. Um Yeah, I got cards. Uh I don't know. Uh, I try and dunk. What should I do though? Because should I make those cards or should I because I have some other stuff that just does not fit in here necessarily. Okay, so I'll do this for school. And then this is another school thing. This is like a certificate because I got uh, a scholarship thing. But again, I don't want to show this because um, it would give too much information. So there we go. And then... <clears throat> Because all this stuff doesn't fit in here. For example, this is like a flyer that I got actually when I went to my one friend's concert or whatever. And look, I I I, I circled my friend's name and then I circled like my teacher's name. <laughs> and then I said, my friend, because I wanted to shout out my friend on this paper so that I remembered who my friend was or something. <laughs> like I would fucking forget my friend, but like, I mean, at le least, like, I I'll re I know I'll remember knowing. Or, like, if I show other people, then they'll go, hey, that's my friend. But, yeah. Yeah, proud. Proud mother. And <laughs> anyways. And then I show my teacher. A proud student woman. But, yeah. Um. Um. Midori's. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Let, Let's. Why did I say her fucking name? <laughs> no, why did I say her name? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, so hopefully, um, <laughs> good thing I didn't say the old name because then I would have had to edit something in order to bleep it out. <laughs> uh, you might still figure it out, though. It's, why did I say, oh my god, <laughs> why did I say her fucking name, I don't even know, I was just not thinking in that moment, I'm ah, sorry, but yeah, my teacher, because I, before I had to withdraw, I was taking a class that was basically, um, uh, was essentially a music appreciation thing, and it was pretty fun, honestly. It was pretty easy-ish for the most part, I think. So yeah, it was pretty fun. Um, so, I don't know, because also like my sister's, um, this is from her um, graduation sort of thing. Stuff, again, not going to show the whole thing just because, uh, yeah, that would be too much information, so. I don't know but yeah i pretty wrong here too i i underlined my name i mean not my name her name and then i said oh she my sister i was just like yeah that was this summer and it was in may or so and that was very fun and ah, my sister. <laughs> but yeah, i love my sister anyways yeah, so, oh, wait, sh sh wait, did I, like, show, wait, or did I just, like, show it like this? Okay, hopefully I just show it like that. <laughs> uh -huh. But, yeah, I don't know if, what I should do because this is a little random thing, but, like, it, like, has, like, different, like, state stuff. This is a coloring book thing for the state that I live in, and, <laughs> But yeah, um, this is like, this shows like a dragon leaf or something. And this is just like a coloring page. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with all of this stuff. Honestly, I don't know if I should sort it in what, what I should name all this because I feel like I want to put the um, cards that I got as well as the different just random things together but i don't know what i would call that tab um maybe i'll call it just random shit i don't know <laughs>
I don't know. I mean, what should I name it though? What about I just name it Special Times? Yeah, I think that fits Special Times because I did get that color and cheap from when I went on a trip somewhere, I think. Because we were in the um, border of the state that I live in. I, well, I, I've already said which state I live in. I live in Illinois, and yeah. Um, so it was the border of that state. Ooh. I'm, I'm making tabs now. Some tabs. I'm making tabs on people. <laughs> no, I can't. I'm just making tabs for myself. Here, I'm going to... For now. Chris, what are you doing? <laughs> but anyways. Okay, so I'm going to cut off some of this stuff. I'm basically making it where I'm putting in the different colors. So as you can see, those are like my old classes, but like I'm putting sticky notes over it in order to make new tabs on it. And then I'm going to write in the, uh, with this penny penny of it's not a it's not the penny one cent it's a pen and penny pen but i just call it penny pen and i'm gonna use it in order to write down the names of the tabs so there we go okay so okay maybe i could just put this over this one we'll swap some Wait, actually, that would come by it. Because it didn't fit, so <coughs> I want to make it look pristine or something. Oh, I have some so fun to see some. I don't know why. Do I have to fun to them? I don't know. But I'm going to cut this off. And cut that. My brain jumped to cut my finger off the fuck. <laughs> See, this is what my brain jumped. If I'm the, if I'm. Mm. Here we go. Tabs. That's crazy though how um, high school was like what was two years ago or might have been three years ago actually that's that's kind of quite funny um it was more two years ago i think though because it's this sort of thing where well my my first day of my last year was three years ago but I was still in it until two years ago. So yeah, that's crazy though. Huh? It's been two years. I mean, this doesn't really seem, it's not even that long in retrospect, but why does it feel like so long since I've been there? Which, thank God, <laughs> but at the same time, it's just like, how has it been like that short of a time when really it feels like it's been an eternity, you know? But then again, I feel as if once I get older, then I'll see that time is just flying by more and more while since I'm young, it's not really flying by that fast, honestly. And it seems slower, but when I'm in my 50s or something, then I'm going to be thinking to myself, oh, time flies by. But right now, it's more of a slow burn which I like that because I don't like the idea of life going too fast I'm scared of growing older honestly and I hate the idea of being mm, my middle age because 
then that means you're close to death. You're closer to death. And yeah, that kind of scared. And <clears throat> again, you don't have as much. I mean, you have a purpose, but like, you don't have as much purpose, I guess, because there aren't as many opportunities, sadly, um, once you get older. But then also there's like, there's a lot of opportunities too at the same time, but just not in the same way where you <clears throat> are seen as having a lot of time left. People kind of put down people who are older in society and instead it's the sort of thing where people are just looking down on other people or old. Even though I don't think we should look down on people who are older, I think that we should see them as wise and listen to them more. And that's not every old person is going to be stuck in their ways, you know? There's actually a lot of old people who want to be with the times. And there's some young people who don't want to change either. It doesn't have to do with age when it comes that, to that sort of thing. It's just a mindset. Um, and I might just have that sort of mindset because um, I think the main thing that has made me grow that mindset is the fact that I have older parents. So I think that's why I respect older people more than most people my age, honestly. <laughs> that almost sounds like I'm trying to like, you know, like de demonize my own age demographic, but I'm just saying some younger people, people who are like, you know, when they're teenage years, you hear the stereotype of, oh, teenage years hate their parents or hate old people or something. And it's just like, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, sometimes there's a reason, there's a valid reason why someone hates their parents. But like, at the same time, I get what they're saying, you know? Shouldn't be just ungrateful for your parents if they, you know, aren't being... If there isn't, like, problems, you know, um, you should be grateful for what they do for you. But at the same time, th that doesn't mean that you should just, like, see them as all good, you know, if it isn't all good. Um, Sorry that it's taking a long time to actually put the paper into the organizer, but that's going to be the easy part, is just putting the paper into the organizer. It's going to take just lickety-split, no sense. And, yeah, it's going to be very quick, so don't you worry, we'll be on a merry way soon. Have a merry Christmas! No, actually, you know what's funny is that I actually listened to a Christmas song just a couple days ago. <laughs> but I had a valid reason as to why, okay? Like, I, I, for some reason, I just, I don't know, I went through basically, like, a, a, um, a, a depressive episode due to just um, basically putting too much of my worth onto other people. And... Yeah, it was a problem where that sort of thing got triggered, and then I felt worthless, basically, and I felt very, just a lot of intense emotions inside, because I found as if I wasn't getting, you know, the attention that I wanted, and, and then it's this sort of thing where... 
I started feeling very worthless about myself and then just all these dark things just came up and it wasn't that great so I ended up listening to music because I usually do that when I am going through a mental breakdown because that's essentially what it was was I was going through a mental breakdown I I decided to listen to this one song because it popped into my head it's somewhere in my memory um from from what's that movie called I know the movie it's called it's from home alone it's somewhere in my memory from home alone and it's a beautiful song about just i i don't know exactly what it's about necessarily because i'll have to read into the lyrics more because i don't really pay attention to the lyrics as much as the feeling that a song gives me and with this song, it really gives nice hope, you know, it's kind of like miracles, and with the Home Alone thing, it sort of shows signs of miracles. That's literally the whole message of the movie, is that you could be a miracle to someone else, and you could get miracles back and stuff, and it's a very beautiful song so I just listen to it because honestly when I get into um sort of um breakdowns I guess um I feel hopeless but with this song it's just a nice song to feel hopeful to and it was honestly a beautiful experience even though it's not Christmas like I just like listening to this song and it popped into my mind so I was like why not and it felt really nice to listen to it actually even though it's the middle of summer um <clears throat> it still felt really nice and if anyone's gonna think I'm weird for that then <laughs> because it's just like dirt who cares? But anyways, I'm going to write something like this. No, but it is pretty weird, honestly. But like, I don't really care because it's a nice song. And if you guys have ever listened to music, Christmas music or holiday music outside of the holidays, then I get you. I get you. Sometimes I've done that too. Also, I listened to this one, I think in May or so, or during the spring or something, I listened to this song called Little St. Nick by the Beatles, because I just was, it was me playing in my head, and I really wanted to listen to it, so I just listened to it. And my reindeer, and my reindeer. Uh, yeah, I, I love that song by the Beatles. I love that Christmas song. It's like one of my faves and also the Somewhere in My Mummy. Also the Polar Express. Like, um, soundtrack is really good. And then there's just a couple other ones that I really like. But there we go. I really like Christmas Guy. <clears throat> okay, so music. See that? That's a great segue, Chrissy. Then <clears throat> college info um medical person <coughs> personal records and then wait how many pies do we have one two wait one two three four Oh yeah, we just have this one left. So, what was I going to call this? Oh yeah, special times. Times and things. What about just special times and things? I mean, everything's special in here, but special times and teens for these cards and stuff. 
So I'm going to put this first. Just making sure that I'm putting it in the right space. I put that there. And then next, we'll put my music stuff in here. Childhood stuff. <coughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm sick. I'm getting better. I'm much better than yesterday where my head was hurting so bad. But then I decided to take ibuprofen finally because usually I don't take um, medicine while I'm sick because I just think to myself, oh, I gotta be stronger than that or something. But then I decided to take it because my head was hurting very, very bad. And now I feel better. My head doesn't really hurt that much. So that is good. It was a miracle. I mean, you can't. That ibuprofen does a little something to me. <laughs> but, anyways. It's all. Why did my brain jump to? It's a lot of fun being sick. <laughs> it's not fun being sick. Oh, uh, sometimes my brain just says random things. Like, I don't know. Sometimes it it feels nice being the victim in a way, which that sounds really dark. I know, but like, honey, like sometimes it just do be like that. And because I've been the victim so much, but never got justice for it, it means that I want to continue to be it because you know it, it's comforting in a way to sort of be in that state because then you don't really have to be held accountable for stuff and you don't have to deal with the pain of the fact that people just really don't give a shit about what you go through really like if we're being 100% honest people just go on with their lives even when people are going through stuff and it's kind of sad even with me sometimes I feel bad because I wish that I could do more for people when it comes to them going through a rough time and stuff. And I wish that I could just put my life on pause for them. But the thing is, is that that can't necessarily happen and that I sort of just have to move on and focus on my own thing. But also, sometimes I just think of certain situations and think to myself, I should have done more to help the person during this time so that's I was helpful instead of just being the seen as the friend who like did not do anything and I guess I just want to be valuable in that way and I don't want a situation where someone feels upset because I'm not there for them because I think it's the fact that that has happened in the past where I basically um try to like be there for someone like I I basically said like hey like if you need anything then let me know stuff and then I remember basically them posting something about how they they don't really that their friends don't appreciate them or that they don't really appreciate them or something along those lines or that they don't actually have any true friends and then it just like I felt sad because I actually genuinely cared about the person but I guess they just didn't really see it that I actually really wanted to help, but, you know, um, it, 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 
it's okay. I just don't know how to show that I care, I guess. And I guess I'm afraid that I'm going to be rejected of the care because I feel as if people don't actually really want the help from me. They want the help from someone who they see as valuable. And I guess if I try to help, but then they reject it, but then they receive the help from someone else, then I'll think to myself, well, what exactly is wrong with me? You know? And I'm so dependent on having other people care about me. It, when it comes to helping them, like, I want to be the one who is the number one in their life. And if I'm not that, then what's even the point of me being there if I'm being 100% honest? And I almost feel angry and angry at the world and angry at them almost for not being um I guess just not seeing me in that kind of way and and then I guess I just want to be helpful and I, I, I've kind of learned that I want people to be dependent on me and that if they aren't dependent on me then I feel upset and that's so sick and fucked up but it's true like if if people aren't dependent on me then I feel like what the fuck is even my purpose what is my value what what do I even offer to them if they aren't dependent on me then what is my value as a human being at all? Like, I don't have any value at all, if that's not the case. And <clears throat> I actually, <laughs> this is a side tune, but literally, I'm done with my according to folder bio, but I just want to, like, ramble on about this, because it's, it's, this a, it's a sort of thing where I saw this one tarot card reading and it basically described me as a person, and then it it said, okay, well, there's, there's like, this person who, the, in your life who is dependent on other people who wants people to be dependent on them. Otherwise, they'll be angry and see them as just not necessarily be happy for other people or something and I guess I, I sort of I mean I didn't really have a big response to it honestly because honestly I already know my maladaptive things and it's not really as big of a deal anymore because honestly I know that I can't necessarily control it I mean sure I can control not feeding into it and not acting out on it I could control it in a sense, but also at the same time, the one thing that people have to understand is, the thing is, is that it's not like I can really control the thought process. Like, sure, I could try to help myself and help myself grow, but that's going to take time, you know? It's not like I'm going to go from, oh, this mindset to this mindset very quickly. I just can't do that. It's not normal for a human being to be able to do that. And I I don't know. It's it's not like I'm trying to run away from changing. Well, maybe I am in a sense sometimes, but it's just that I truly do not know how to fix this. Like, how do you fix something that's so flawed about you? You know. And how do you treat? being literally this narcissistic to the point you want people to depend on you and you feel jealous and envious whenever someone else is able to be that person for someone else to be the person who helps when you're not the person who helps and instead someone else you feel envious towards them and it's a problem but I just do not know how to um 
I just do not know how to fix that necessarily. And yeah. But what, what the fuck was I going to say? Jesus. I forgot. Um, okay, maybe I'll remember next time, but look, I got my papers in here, got all the tabs, got all the papers in here, so yeah, you could do this with your papers too, like, it's a good way to organize stuff, and then I have these extra folders that have nothing in them now, so I'm going to try to think of what to do with all of these folders because I don't know what to do with them but maybe I'll just store them in here for now so that it could be useful to someone other people because my parents or family probably needs folders in, in, in some sort of <coughs> okay so papers and then accordion folder. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring this into the room. Bring this with me. And then sticky notes just go here. Okay. So what, what what exactly was I talking about? But yeah, basically I saw this one um in the tarot card reading thing. Basically, the person said in the video, oh, well, anyone who acts like what I just mentioned before, you know, forgetting what I was going to say, anyone who acts in that sort of way is a bit of the person who acts in that way towards you. Because it was talking about someone else, someone else's prediction sort of thing. But it didn't really resonate with me necessarily because with me, I was actually the person who was bad or something. And, or bad in the reading sort of thing, that person more described me than the person that it was intended to be towards the reading, if that makes sense. Um, they called the person who was doing these sorts of bad things which is bad but I'm just saying quote unquote because I don't want to make people feel like they're demons or anything for thinking a certain way or acting a certain way or something because that's just not the case and I hate hate that people see it in that kind of way and I hate that I've internalized that too to the point where sometimes I see things as demonish or I see myself as demonish even though it shouldn't be that way and it's bad they okay so I gotta go back to what I was going to say they basically called this person the person who was quote unquote acting bad they called them a pathetic loser and it's just like what the fuck like okay I understand okay people can be bad and we should address toxic behavior I get it but the thing is is that why are you calling someone a loser for um my mind jumped to the word broken but that's not the right word I don't really like using that word honestly because it's 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 not a good word to use on someone else people think that it's a good word because they're just like oh well they could fix themselves then or something but it just sounds wrong to me and i think it's more i think we're well actually someone said this on youtube before but we're more like programs on a computer you know it's more of a I guess, malfunction sort of thing, or an error in the system. So, actually multiple YouTubers have said this. I think there was this one YouTuber, there's this one YouTuber called Shawnee the Creator, and she's very good. You gotta watch her. I'm gonna link her channel down below. But 
she is a very good channel because she just her channel is very good because she says very insightful things and one of the things she said was that we're kind of like programs in a computer we are programmed in a certain type of way to the experiences that we've had or genetics and stuff and then if something goes against that then there will be, be an error or something and then we'll just yeah that sort of thing so okay i get that we have to fix people who have errors in their ways but the thing is is that we shouldn't be calling people all bad or all good it, it goes both ways we shouldn't be thinking oh this person is like the sweetest this person is like an angel this person is blah 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 but we also shouldn't be calling people oh they're the devil they're evil so it just that doesn't work and that's just painting an image of someone that just is pretty inaccurate, honestly. There's some people who seem bad who actually aren't that bad. They probably have good traits, even if they seem evil. Which me. <laughs> but, um, and then when it comes to people who seem all good and stuff, which, honestly, people have sort of, um, seen me in that way before, for example. Well, not in, not in, like, the way where they think, like, oh, well, she's the greatest person. Like, no, not in that way. I'm more mean in a way where people, when I was younger, used to think that I was an innocent person. And a lot of people will say, when they meet me, that I seem like an innocent person, but I'm really not an innocent person. Is the thing is that I'm not an innocent person at all. I have seen a lot of things, and they weren't good. <laughs> I'm just saying I'm not an innocent person is the thing. And we should stop putting those sorts of labels to uh, the good things because, uh, I mean, a lot of time, if you think one extreme about the person, then it's probably not 100% true. I'm just saying. We shouldn't think of people in absolutes. We shouldn't think of people as 100% something because whenever we do that, honestly, it ends up not being true. For example... I'm obsessed with this situation, but with the Cody Cole situation, he was seen, and I even used to watch his videos probably um, a year or two ago or so. Like, the last time I actually watched a video of his was probably a year or two ago. A year ago, I would say. Yeah, a year ago. But this just, he was seen as this nice charming guy who literally loved all groups and stuff or at least he seemed like a morally right person because he would judge other people for acting dumb and stuff that's the thing with commentary channels is that sometimes we just assume that they're good people because they're only now people who are doing bad stuff and making fun of them but the thing is that doesn't mean that they're a good person themselves is the just because someone else is calling someone else out that doesn't that doesn't really make them a good person you know like sure justice oh they're serving justice they must be a good person just because someone brings justice to things it doesn't mean that they themselves are a good person or, or who have never messed up is the thing and we should stop having this image of oh well this person is like so good and, so, and or oh this person bad this person bad we should stop with those absolutes that's the actually one thing that i'm trying to work on or this revelation that i came to is i should stop thinking in absolutes and instead i should start thinking in more gray area broader terms instead of thinking in absolutes all of the time because i feel as if i think in absolutes a lot of oh i'm never going to get here i'm never going to get this i'm never going to be um happy or something or i'm never going to be the same type of person or i'm never going to get through this 
or something. <clears throat> and I think a lot of people have those thoughts. I think everyone does at some point. And the thing is, is that we can't have these absolutes about life because otherwise it's going to damage us. We can't have absolutes about people either. We can't have absolutes about ourselves. We can't. And that's one thing that everyone has to realize, the society has to realize, is that we cannot think in absolutes. Especially when it comes to people and our lives. But just everything in general. And <clears throat> trust me, you'll be so much happier once you let go of the absolutes or the black and white thinking or something. Sure, I still have to work on that because, honey, I'm, honey, I'm not perfect at all. But it, I'm just saying that as a drawing board to strive towards, you know? Something to strive towards. And then you have a drawing board so that you could draw sort of a timeline sort of thing. Sure, you may never get 100% there, but hey, at least you're trying to be unbiased or not thinking black and white. Some, I mean, at least you're trying and you'll get better at it if you set that intention of doing so. And I have to set more intention of stuff. Honestly, I don't set really that many goals, but... I really want to set goals, honestly. That would be a lot of fun. But, anyways. Yeah, might set some goals. I don't know, though. Um, I don't know. I don't really want to say too much about that. Because I don't want to say that I'll do something and then end up not doing it. Because that would be goodbye. So, yeah. Um, But I'm going to go now because I got everything sorted out when it comes to the Accordion folder, and I said up, I said everything that I really want to say for right now. But I just want to say thank you for watching this video. And I don't know why I randomly just decided to talk about my outfit, but look, I got my, I got this comfy outfit on, and I feel very comfy in it. And also, I like this center thing for sure because the thing is, is that. When wearing white, it doesn't soak up as much warmness. So, therefore, it feels more cool and it's a tank top, so it feels very nice. I really like it century wise. And here we go. I don't know why I just want to say that. Also, my hair kind of messy. Uh, sorry, that was messy throughout this video. But I didn't like. I don't think I. Yeah, I forgot to brush my hair today because I was just relaxing and laying down all day in bed or on the couch or something because I was sick. But yeah, um, but yeah, I'm I'm getting better. Just know that I am better now, so I ain't gonna be sick. And I fought off this virus, but anyway, or whatever I had or have. At least I think so. I, at least I think I fight it off. No. But anyway. Thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Love you.